All hail a beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today is Sunday, which means we are back for yet another one of those most anticipated videos. This is probably the most anticipated video on my channel. And lucky for you guys, this one is a double dose. We got weekly fragrance rotation video, week number 58, and week number 59, because I did not load week number. So if you're new to the channel, what we do on these videos is we talk about the fragrances that I wore this week. We talk about the compliment factor or lack of compliments and anything else of importance and or significance. But most importantly, you comment down below and you let me know what you wore this week. So without any further ado, let's do, do, do it. So for week number 58 on Sunday, I kicked off the week with the fragrance that I picked up on one of those challenges. And I haven't revisited since, so I needed to wear it. This one comes from Calvin Klein, and this one is Calvin Klein Contradiction. This one here to me is fresh, it's woody, and it did okay. I went with four sprays on this one. I did not get any compliments with it, but it did last a lot longer than I anticipated this one to do. So on Sunday, Calvin Klein Contradiction. On Monday of week number 58, I pulled out a fragrance that I will be wearing probably a lot more here in the spring of 2019. This one comes from the house of Prada, and this one is Prada Luna Rosa Black. To me, this one was highly anticipated, and I was really excited to hear that this one was coming out, and even more excited to get it in the collection. This is a dope fragrance, and one that you can really pull off in the springtime. I did about four sprays of this one. I did not get any compliments with it, but it did not matter because I knew I smelled now on Tuesday of week number 58, the weather decided to switch it up a bit. You know how it gets, man. Especially here in Florida, we get like these warm, warm, warm days and then we get one or two cold days. So on Tuesday, it got a little more chilly. So I pulled out a fragrance I hadn't worn in quite some time and I was happy I had an opportunity to wear it. And this one is Dark Rebel. I enjoy this fragrance. This is one from the house of John Barbados and probably one of my favorites from that house. Um, at least from the collection that I have. I got maybe, I don't know, eight or nine bottles from them. And this one is solid. I do like it. I did five sprays on this one. I did not get any compliments with it, though. This one is a darker fragrance. Has a bit of leather in it. Lots of smoke in this one. So it's not one for everyone, but it works for me. Wednesday was also a cooler day here in the state of Florida. So I pulled out a fragrance that was a recreation, an inspired expression, if you will, of a fragrance that I really, really enjoy. And that that fragrance comes from the house of Killian, and that one is Back to Black. And this one is Fade to Black from the house of Alexandria. Now, this one is citrus, it's floral, it's honey, and an all-around great fragrance. It really, really does perform. And I was really like, by this point, I really shouldn't be shocked of how close these fragrances are to the real deal. But this one, to me, is close in terms of smell and overall performance. I went with four sprays on this one, got two compliments, and again, this one is a dope release from the house. And if you're looking for one of these Killian fragrances, right, and you can't afford it, this is one that you should probably get your nose on because it's pretty damn close. On Thursday, the weather picked back up a bit, and I pulled out a fragrance that I really, really enjoyed. This one made a most complimented list for me. Not really most complimented, but it made a best pickup list for me in 2017. And this one was reintroduced to my collection in 2018. And this one is Pineapple Vintage Intense from the good people over at Parfums Vintage. I really pulled this one out because I was doing some testing and comparisons between this one of Vintage and the new one or newer one, Emperor Extract from the house of Pineapple Vintage, or Parfums Vintage, if you will, and this one does me good. I did four sprays on this one, got one compliment, and it's super, super solid. Again, one that I feel like you should get your nose on if you're not looking to spend those Aventus prices, but stay tuned. We're still on week number 58 here, and I believe that the Friday of week 58 was the, like, second official day of spring. So I pulled out a staple in many people's spring collection, and this one is Bleecker Street from the House of Bond number 9. Now, I'm not, like, a huge fan of this fragrance, but it does work from time to time. So I decided to wear this one and give it a good old try, and it got me zero compliments. This one is musky, has some blueberry notes in it. It's an enjoyable fragrance. I can understand why it would be enjoyable. 
but um, you know, to the right person in the right situation. And then finally, in week number 58, on that Saturday, I pulled out a fragrance from the House of Commodity, and this one was a gift for me, I believe, on my birthday of 2018. And this one is Commodity's Book. This one is woody, it's fresh, and kind of smells like paper, just a bit. I enjoy, I think this is a solid release from the house, and this was from their black collection, so this is like more expensive. Not saying that it's expensive in itself. I think it's like 125 to 127 bucks, but overall, this is a solid fragrance. It's not one that you're going to smell on everyone, so if you're looking for something that you can wear in the spring or summer and or summer, and it's uh, kind of unique, this is one that you can go with. I think it's dope. So we fast forward and go over to the next week. In week number 59, I poured out some fragrances that I needed to touch. I hadn't worn in a while, man. I needed some compliments, goddammit. So I wanted to try some out and then also, you know, get some compliments. So this fragrance that I wore is one that I just recently did a review on and I talked to you guys about not truly enjoying it, but some of you out there said you really did. So I decided, hey, let me go ahead and give this a good old college try once again. And this one comes from the house of Bulgari and this one is Bulgari Aqua Amar. Now this one is like this sour sea salt aquatic type of fragrance and I still don't enjoy it. I did four sprays on this one. I got zero compliments with it and um, this is what it is. On Monday, I wore a fragrance that I received like two bottles of. This is my second time getting this fragrance. First time, um, it, it was damaged. Like UPS people like broke, broke it. Like broke, they broke the fuck out of it. <laughs> so I didn't really get to smell it. So this is the second one that I got. And I was like kind of disappointed once when smelling this one that I did not get the official one. This fragrance that I'm talking about comes from the house of Alexandria and it's Fructus Virgins. Now this one is a recreation of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And that's one that I kind of skipped on and passed on. But after smelling this one, I was like, fuck, maybe I should have got it. Now to me, this one isn't as sweet as the uh, Lost Cherry. And I also don't believe that this one leans as feminine as a lost cherry to me. I did like the fragrance, but I believe that that was more of a woman's fragrance. But this one to me smells a bit more masculine and I do like it. And I'm like, damn it, I wish I would've got it. And the sax near me no longer has it. So it is what it is. I did not get any compliments when wearing this one here. So it's like, eh, maybe, but we'll see. So this one is a, a nice fragrance. I'm going to wear it more and more and more and see if I can get some compliments on it and see how it does overall in terms of performance and longevity. But I figured that some of you guys and girls out there might want to know about this one. So on Tuesday of week number 59, I've decided that I've gone long enough without being showered with praises and compliments. So therefore, I pulled out one that does me justice every goddamn time. And this one comes from the house of Paco Rabanne. Yes, you already know what I'm talking about. And this one is one million lucky. I got a ton, a ton, like a ton of compliments on one million lucky. Maybe about six or seven. I stopped counting after six. So I'm gonna say seven. Let's add that extra one on top of it because it was clearly taken off. This one is a dope fragrance. You got that hazelnut. It's like, it's just like breathtaking. Listen, man, I, I, I ran into someone late on in the week. I believe it was like Thursday, and he was over at Saks. Thursday or Friday. I have to go through my list and figure out exactly what it is. And he was wearing this one. He has the same type of feelings of this one. It's a super solid fragrance. Front of the house of Paco Rabanne. If you want some compliments, then get your goddamn hands on one million lucky, and you might get lucky. On Wednesday, I pulled out a fragrance that I've been testing and testing and testing so I can bring you guys a review on it. This one comes from the House of Parfum Vintage, and this one is Emperor. Now, this one has been in my collection, at, more specifically, Emperor x -Trade. This one has been in my collection for a few months now, and I decided, listen, the work is done. It's time to bring you official review on it. So stay tuned for that one. I did not get any compliments with it, but damn, this one is a good scent. This is a solid release from them. So um, stay tuned for the official review so you can hear all my thoughts and opinions on this one. And you can either slaughter them or you can love them. Either way, it's coming. And Wednesday was also my son's birthday, man. So shout out to him. Happy birthday. Happy sixth birthday. You're six now. He also lost his tooth on Wednesday. So that was too fairy, bringing you more money, birthday gifts. It's crazy. On Thursday, I had some visitors come in town and I wanted to wear something that was, you know, solid. One that they would love, one that I love, one that generally gets me compliments. And I poured out Silver Mountain Water from the house of Creed and it did its job. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So on Thursday, haha, -ha, 
go back a bit, right? So on Thursday, I had some people coming down, and then after we were done, I had to go over to sex. I didn't have to, but I was like, yeah, I'll come. They had an event from 6 to 8 p.m., and I was able to meet some people there, so shout out to everybody that I got to meet there. I also met a gentleman and his wife, man. Um, they were good people. I caught them actually on my way out of the event. I was, like, not there anymore, but I parked by sex, so I had to go in there, and they were just over there talking to the Killian rep Ingrid, so I got to have some good conversation with them and uh, add them on Snapchat, so cool, nice meeting you people. I believe their names were Ryan and Heather, like, don't crucify me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe that's what their names, so it was nice meeting you, and we'll continue talking via Snapchat, and maybe I'll see you again, you know, maybe in the world of sex. Shout out to y'all, shout out to Creed Silver Mountain. I guess I gotta tell you how many sprays I went with for this one. I actually sprayed this one multiple times throughout the day. So I initially started off with four sprays on this one. And then midway through my day, I did like another three sprays. And towards the end, I did two. Uh, I did not like get anyone who seemed to be overwhelmed um, by this one. But I do enjoy it that damn much. I know someone's gonna roast me down in the comments like, Why'd you spray so many sprays of Silver Mountain Water? Because I felt like it. Now on Friday of week number 59, I wore nothing but everything at once. I was like spraying a ton of different fragrances, getting reviews prepped. So I could not say I wore one fragrance. I was like a cluster fuck, a ton of different fragrances. So therefore I cannot talk about the fragrances that I wore. So let's skip to Saturday. So on Saturday, I pulled out a fragrance that I'm enjoying a lot. And this one is from Mason Margiela. And this one is Under the Lemon Tree. Now I actually, went and smelled this one a few weeks ago or maybe like a week or so ago and i had to go back and pick it up i enjoyed the missus enjoyed the kiddos enjoyed it so therefore i had to come home now i did five sprays of this one this was a light fragrance and it doesn't project a ton but it is a very enjoyable scent um i did not well, actually there i got one compliment on this one i'm from the missus so i'm going to count that one in on this and uh, i think this is a dope fragrance so more to come stay tuned under the lemon tree from the house of mason margella so here are my winners for week number 58 we have fade the black from the house of alexandria fragrances and on week number 59 we have pocket raban one million lucky what works for you feel free to comment down below in the comment section and let me know do you have this one in your collection oh do you have the real deal in your collection do you have um back to black or do you have one million lucky in your collection if not you should because it's dope and i'm telling you again so there you have it those are my weeks number 58 and 59 don't forget to comment down below let me know what worked for you as always i'm your boy big bb don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again hit the goddamn